Hi, this is Gene with Troy Built Models and we're going to test out the new battery that we've just developed. This is for the Evo. This is a 16,000 milliamp hour battery. It's a six cell. So what we're going to do is we put it on the Evo, which they has the A2 on it. It has the Zenmuse gimbal and a Next7 camera. We're going to use a Futaba transmitter. We have a data link on here. The data link is going to transmit back over to the computer here, our laptop, uh, what the voltage is in a couple different spots. Uh, we also have put a voltage meter here, which is going to read the voltage out of each cell individually. It'll say number one, two, three, four, and it'll cycle through that. And then it will have the voltage of all of them. So voltage uh, cell one, cell two, cell three, four, five, six, and then uh, the total was 25.3. So we're going to read that and then we're going to read through here how many milliamps hours are uh, going through, have gone through. And so we're going to land this at about 80 percent of the capacity of the battery gone, which is going to be about 13,000 milliamps. When we read 13,000 milliamps, we're going to see what the voltage says here, here, and there. <laughs> And we're going to read the time from my uh, stopwatch here and the stopwatch here. See how much time we get um, when we're flying under these conditions. All right, here we go. We'll start the stopwatch here. We'll start the stopwatch here. And we'll power her up. And off we go. We're going to land at 13,000 and of course it started to rain on us <laughs> so we're going to have to move all this inside but we've got a time of about uh, 12 minutes and 30 seconds or so when we landed. So in conclusion uh, you can see we've got two 5,000 milliamp hour batteries here versus the one which is 16,000 milliamps. These weigh about the same. This is about three and a half pounds and the 16,000 is about three and three quarter pounds, a little less. So about three and a half ounces more, you're going to get about 50% more power. So you can see that you're going to get 50% more flight time on your copters. So it's a really good battery. Seems like it's working very, very well for us. Um, we hope you take a look at it. Thanks very much.